close your eyes and watch your breath. The meditation is not about the breath, it's about your mind, but to get to the mind you first have to give it something to focus on, so focus on the breath. Once the mind has been brought into the present moment, then you can notice what's lacking inside. And for meditation in Pali, Bhavana means to develop. You're developing your inner wealth. And you have to ask yourself, what are you lacking in right now in terms of your inner wealth? You're lacking concentration, you're lacking discernment, you're lacking mindfulness. We'll try to develop those qualities by, by reminding yourself to stay with the breath. That's exercise in mindfulness. And making sure you stay with one thing. Don't just let everything come in and drag you off in every which way. That's how you develop your concentration. And when you figure out how to get some control over the mind, that's how you begin to gain some discernment. Now, these are qualities you want to develop all the time. Today we're commemorating the passing of a John Fu, and he died 30 years ago, as of yesterday. And one of the teachings he liked to say often was that you, you want to be practicing all the time. You want to make your practice timeless. Because after all, the word to develop doesn't mean you have to close your mind, close your eyes and sit and sit still. You can develop your mind any time as you go through the day, as you're driving around, as you're working, dealing with other people. You can always try to develop good qualities in mind. And that way your practice becomes timeless. Or as he would say, make it some mind. The word means right, but it also means just right. But it also means you want to do it all the time. Now, just right doesn't mean just kind of a middling right. It means whatever is appropriate for the task. Sometimes if really strong anger comes up in the mind, you've got to deal with strong measures. Other times the problems in the mind are a little bit more gentle, so you, you treat them with finesse. In other words, you try to figure out what's just right for right now, and always keep on top of right now. Because if you're developing inner wealth only for five minutes a day or ten minutes a day or once a week, you think of all the hours in the week, then you're spending your inner wealth otherwise. And then the question is, are you operating on a profit or a loss? You want to be operating on a profit, and you can. Just work on developing good qualities in the mind all the time. When the situation calls for patience, you develop patience, well, that's developing too. When the situation calls for equanimity, when it calls for compassion, those are things you want to develop at that time when it's appropriate. In other words, keep on top of things all the time. Because your mind can create trouble all the time if you're not careful. So you want to have at least part of your mind looking at the other part, making sure everything is running well, nothing's going out of bounds, and that you actually are developing good qualities in mind as you go through the day. That way every one of those 168 hours of the week is going to be a profitable hour in terms of your inner wealth. And we commemorate the passing of the Johns this way because it reminds us that even people who developed really good qualities still had to die. And so we're all going to have to die at some point. The question is, what are we going to die with profit in our ledger or a loss? John Fuhrman was always counseling. He says, you know, we don't have all the time in the world to practice. We have one lifetime, which we have no idea how long it is. Once you're born, you're in a line. And you may have a number in your hand, but you never know what number they're going to, they're going to call, because they don't call the numbers in numerical order. Sometimes you're in the line for a little bit of time and then you're gone. Other people stay in a long, long time before they're gone. But the question is, okay, what are you going to do with that time? Because it, for everybody it's limited, so you're trying to make the best use of it. Don't fritter it away. Don't do the books at the end of your life and see you come up with a big loss. You want to come back. You want to come out with a profit. Good qualities in mind that keep you happy now and will provide for your happiness as you go on to the next life. So we're trying to make use of the fact that we're commemorating the passing of the, the Johns this way. Probably. Remember, because they warned us about how little time there is, and we should take that lesson to heart. What time you do have is time that you can do good, and then it's time that's well spent. <laughs>